everybody. Well, the bad news is I have lots of noise in most of my images because I have I live in a terrible place for astrophotography and don't get a lot of time on each image. The good news is I've been getting better at noise reduction. It's evolved over time, and I'd like to show you my latest routine. First off, in PixInsight, I'm going to use PixInsight to start with. We'll come over to noise reduction, and I've used all of these before. And today I'm going to focus in on TGV denoise. That's my newest and latest and favorite one. So before I actually do it, I want to create a mask. So I come over here to this button, and this creates a luminosity mask for my image. Let me pass that away. And here's the luminosity mask, and I'm going to drag it over to the image, and it turns the image red. So right now, wherever it's deep red, it's protecting it, and wherever it's not deep red, it's not protecting it. So I'm going to invert it. So now the nebulas are protected, but the background is not. And that's what I want to um, do the denoise on. So I can actually press this button, and the mask is still there. You know it's still there because this thing is brown. It's just not shown. So watch what happens when I turn it on again. There it is. Turn it off. It's still there. As long as this thing's brown, it's still there. So I'm going to keep it everything. I'm going to keep it on RGBK here. And I'm actually going to adjust the levels here. I'm going to adjust this up to 8. This is my default. And then this one's going to keep around 5 or so. It doesn't have to be exact. I just, these are just some defaults I, I like. Drag it over. And it's going to do its thing right now. Now, this usually takes less than three minutes to run through its routine. The reason I like this one, this TGV denoise, as opposed to the other ones, is that this one, it can do its thing in less than three minutes. The multi-scale transformations, they, they take longer because you, you got to do some more settings. And so it takes longer to play around and readjust and readjust because you might have to do several iterations. And this one goes by fairly quickly. So it processes one channel here, it'll go to 90, it'll go to 100%, then it's going to do a, a second channel. And it'll actually do a third uh, channel before it's done. But it already ran through its first channel and it's only been, you know, a little over 30 seconds or so. Yeah, as I said, I've been getting much better at noise reduction. So in this first part, I'm going to go through PixInsight uh, or the TGV noise reduction. And in the second part of the video, I am going to use Photoshop and do some noise reduction in Photoshop. Okay, it's going to do its last iteration now. As I'll pause it. Okay, well now it's finished, and let me close this out, and I'll drag this down here, and let's see what this thing did for us. This thing did. So I turned it off. I'm going to scroll up, and there's what it like looks like without the noise reduction, and. Let's see what it does. And you can see how it smoothed out the background. All right, now we can leave it alone or we can also come over here to where it says chrominance and nothing happens. So what you can do is you can come over here where it says C-I-E-L, click on that. And now we can do chrominance. And I'm gonna leave these parameters the same way. So we can do another set of um, noise reduction here. So click over this. And again, it's going to uh, do the, um, it's going to take a little while to do this, another two minutes to do this. I'm going to pause it right now. And we'll take a look at it when, it gets, when I get done. 
Okay, so I'm back and it did its uh, did its noise reduction. So I'm gonna scroll off that, and I'm going to undo TVG noise again. So this is the second time it did it. And let's see what. So now you can really see how it smoothed out that image, and we'll do it without you know the full view. So it doesn't, it, you know, if you're looking at the wide field, it doesn't look like it did much. But when you look at it um, up close, you can really see the um, the benefits of using this. Okay, so now what? Am I done with noise reduction? And no, not really. I'm going to bring it into Photoshop and show you some of the things that I do in Photoshop as well. Hey everybody, I'm back and I've opened my image up in Photoshop now and I'll show you some of the things I do for noise reduction in Photoshop. First thing I do, I would come down here and open up a uh, new layer, make sure it's highlighted, and if you go into uh, filter and come down here to sharpen and use the smart sharpen It gives you this type of uh, screen here and you can um, Do all sorts of things you can do like this amount of sharpening. I usually leave this around uh, 190 you can adjust the uh, radius and it actually gives you a little preview screen right here although it sometimes it Takes a few minutes for this preview screen to work. I, I usually leave it around 0.7 and the noise reduction. Let's see if I go like that and you can get, so it's giving me a preview. Let's say if we go up to 60, I think is where I had it before. So let's leave it around 68 and click OK. Noise reduction in pick and Photoshop seems to go a bit quicker than Pix Insight. So, still takes a few seconds. Okay, so it did it, and let's see if if I click it off and on, and we don't really notice too much on the uh, wide field, but let's zoom in. Um, all right, so here's with it on, and here's what it looks like when it's off, and you can see the subtle difference. So this did a pretty good job. And let's say you didn't quite like, you, you liked it a little bit, but not quite. You can actually adjust the uh, strength. Uh, down here, you just click on opacity, and this is 100%. And this is not at all, and then somewhere in between. So the beauty of Photoshop is you can uh, adjust it freely. So let's uh, save this, and I'll flatten the image. So now it's one big image. So is this all? Is there any more noise reduction? And the answer is yes. There are some other things you can do too, or other things I, I like to do. If you click over here where it says actions, now this action set is Noel Carboni's Astronomy Tools action set. It's only 20 bucks. It's a plugin that you can get for Photoshop. And it has a whole bunch of stuff on here. So I, I'd highly advise getting this if you do use Photoshop. So for noise reduction, a couple of things you can do or that I usually do on most of my images is I usually come down here to vertical banding and horizontal banding. So I, I first click on no, uh, horizontal noise banding. And you can see what it does. Yeah, if you have banding that occurs every, uh, depending on how well your flat frames and whatnot, cancel out stuff. You may have some banding on here. So let's see if it did anything. Yeah, maybe. Let's click on it. Let's see if it does anything here. Uh, so there is some banding. You can see some little banding effects. So I'm going to leave it on. Go back to the screen and I will 
flatten the image. Now you don't have to flatten the image like I am after each time you're doing something. All right, let's go to vertical banding. I, I could I could just open up another layer and just keep having it and do it, or I can apply it to the same later layer. So Right. Again, off and off and. And I again, I will flatten the image. As I said, you don't have to do it. So, am I done with noise reduction? The answer is not yet. I still got more in here. There's a space noise reduction, which I really don't use if I have Nebula. With Nebula, I like to use the deep space noise reduction. And watch what this one does. This one will actually create its own mask and it'll protect the nebula because you probably want the detail of the nebula and it'll get rid of the some of the noise in the background. Okay, and let's see what it looks like. Off, on, off, on. So the overall image, it didn't really change too much. Let's see what it does if we uh, zero in on it. One, two, three, four, five. Here's what the image looks like. There's off. And there's on, off, on. So again, subtle differences. And again, if you don't like what it did, you can adjust the um, the intensity of it. Let's say, for example, you wanted to protect the um, the nebula, or you didn't really want it to uh, do any uh, noise reduction around here. You can actually uh, turn off parts of it using this thing you know if you let's say this little part you wanted to keep the detail you can click off or if you wanted to make that uh, bigger let me make it a larger size or even better yet even larger yet yeah, this whole nebula i wanted to prevent it so now it took off the noise reduction in this area where that circle is highlighted Okay, anyways, I think that's all uh, for noise reduction. I'm gonna show you, there are, there are other things you can do using this filter. You can come down here where it says noise and dust and scratches. I've done that before. Uh, under sharpen, you could just use sharpen. But anyways, I used a smart sharpen in order to get rid of the noise or come over here and dust and speckle. You could use the, um, the Gaussian blur function, I've done that before. But those are eyeball things. The main things I use is this no carbonies action set, uh, the noise reduction in here, as well as the uh, as well as the sharpen, the smart sharpen. Those are the ones that I use mainly in Photoshop. Anyways, I hope that hope you 